Hey guys, Kevin here. Rather than a tutorial or an unboxing or anything like that, I thought I'd just tell you a little story. Um, it's more of a rant, kind of like a complaint, and it's regards to Amazon. And I'm sure many of you can relate to this problem. Amazon has... The customer service is a mixed bag. Generally, I would say their customer service is very good. But where it kind of falters is um, the call centers and things like that. You know, the return system is generally okay. You can never really get to speak to anyone who's from a Western country. Now, I, I know it's difficult for people in India, um, you know, to speak to people from the UK and from the USA. But it can be frustrating to deal with someone like that because one, there's a language barrier and two, there, there's still like a culture barrier. You know, there's things like frequently when you're talking to them, they'll just talk over you and it's, you know, it's quite rude. <laughs> but um, anyway, I digress. Here's what happened. I returned my Zoom H6 in December. So it was like the start of December and I told them the SD card had broke. They were kind enough to say, right, send it back. So I sent it back and also sent back the shotgun mic because I can't use the shotgun mic without the Zoom 86 audio recorder. So I sent them back. Both of them uh, at the same time, at the same collection point, but they had to go in separate boxes because um, they sent me two different slips. So I put them in different boxes and I delivered them to the collection point at the same time. So I got the email and I think at the time they said the shotgun mic was, wasn't... Um, was received, but the Zoom 86 wasn't. So I ph phoned them, spoke to them, email, then I phoned them, and they said, oh, don't worry, we've got it here. So don't worry, everything's fine, everything's fine, we've got it, don't worry, okay. So I had like the tracking code and the receipt and all that, and I kept it for a few weeks, but Christmas came and went, and then it was about, I think it was about the 10th or 11th of January, so this was like four or five weeks after I sent it back. Christmas was over. I had a ton of receipts, you know, through buying gifts at Christmas. So I had to, I normally keep those things for a while, but they told me everything was fine. So I ended up, well, I think it's thrown out. I can't find it. So the code for returning it was um, was sent, uh, was in the bin, probably. I don't know. But I'm sure you can guess where this story is going because I, got, I received an email around 10th, 11th of January, and it said, we've still not received, received the Zoom 86. If you don't return it, we're going to charge you. So they're going to charge me £329, which is quite a lot of money to just come off on your credit card in the one go. So I emailed them and in fact I phoned them and I spoke to someone, I think, I can't remember this was an Indian call centre or if it was Ireland. You normally get one of the two when you call from the UK. And so, spoke to them, and again, oh, thousand apologies, all that kind of thing. Everything's okay, I can assure you, nothing's going to happen, we've got it, or is it must be a system error, blah, 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 don't worry, we'll sort it out. I was like, well, you know, this was, I was told this was fine before. No, 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 it was, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Fast forward to today, and, well, you know what's happened. They sent me an email, and they had charged me the 320 mine. £329 directly off my card and they don't even do it in the 0% interest card I've got they put it in the one that I've got that's got the high APR so they put it to the card and I phone up again once again blah 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 through it oh yeah yeah we can see we've actually received it it's a system error blah 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 they complain complain now they say okay that's fine that's fine and in very very uh, the very very beginning of the conversation he kept saying so have I resolved the issue <laughs> right and I'm like, well, no. He's like, well, don't worry. It's going to be, don't worry. And I was like, listen, I've spoke to two or three people already from, you know, from Amazon. They keep saying not to worry. And then you've just went and charged my card £329. At this point, I think it was only 10 minutes in the conversation. The total conversation of the call was around 30 minutes or so. You know, not to mention the emails and stuff afterwards. I'll get to that. But it was a whole waste of time. And he kept saying, have I solved the issue? Have I resolved the issue? And I was like, no. He said, well, don't worry, we're going to get it fixed. So have I resolved the issue? I was like, no. I was like, this issue isn't resolved until the money's back in my card and I've got a letter or an email confirming that this was a mistake and it won't happen again. This should have been, you know, all handled before. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll get this done. Don't we'll get it done. And he went away, spoke to his manager and he came back. 
And he kept, he kept going on about this. He's, well, ha, have I resolved your issue? And I was like, listen, you have not resolved my issue. The money has been taken out of my card. Here's the thing. They take the, the money off your card instantly. And yet it takes a week to come back onto your card as well. So he said he was going to send a big long email. He was going to sort it out. And he was going to do it all. And he basically, I think on fact, he sent an email. And the first email said just simply... Did I solve the issue? And it was like a yes, no, and it's like a feedback thing. He says, in, with regards to a conversation, did I resolve the issue? I was like, all right. And then he sent another email saying, don't worry, we're going to refund it. And he's, he said he's going to give me a call on Saturday. So he's going to sort it so that, that, you know, in like three or four days' time, he's going to call me. And then he phoned me. So the first email said, did I solve the issue? The second one had the part at the bottom, did I solve the issue? And he had mentioned it in the email as well. And he phoned me up and said, just to let you know, I've processed the refund, everything's going to be fine. He's like, so can you do me a huge, huge favour? Can you, you know, put that I was really helpful in the call and I've resolved the issue? I was like, you've not resolved the issue? You know, this hasn't been resolved yet. And it's just funny, this is kind of the way that Amazon works now. They've clearly got this customer support system where as a customer I need to mark it as resolved I need to give feedback to um, the person who has handled the call now here's the thing now I the person who handled call handled the call today he was polite you know he was nice enough and I know this isn't coming from him you know I know it's not his fault um, I know he's obviously trying to meet targets and things like that but the way the system is set up is, you know, you've only got black or white. Was it resolved or was it not? And he was really, really pushy. He must have said that about in our, you know, 25, uh, 30 or 30, I can't remember, maybe 35 minutes. Um, the original phone call, he must have mentioned it like five or six times. And every time I'm like, listen, it is not resolved. Until that money's back on my credit card, this is not resolved. And I'm not saying it's resolved because it isn't. The last time I said it was resolved... Then this happened, and time before that, I said it was resolved, and then, you know, we're still here today talking about it. And it was just funny, like, I actually nearly burst out laughing when he called me again, and he was like, okay, well, you can, you can, you know, mark it as resolved, or you can say it was helpful today, and I was like, and I was like, listen, I was just kind of smiling, and I was like, as soon as that money's back in my account, I'll, I'll answer the email, and I'll say you're very helpful, but until then, um, I'm not going to say anything. It's, it's just kind of funny, I think... Those of you who use Amazon a lot have probably experienced this many, many times. Uh, it can be frustrating. Um, for me, though, it's not even like the issue of it going on my card. It's more about the time. When this first happened, you know, I had to, you know, send a few emails. You do the phone calls. Happens again, and then it happens again. And the problem is that every time it happens, they almost talk down to you and say, "Oh, don't worry, you're you're overreacting. This will be fine." And you're like, "Well, this is the third time. This is not going to be fine." Clearly. This isn't fine. I don't trust you people, you know. Um, and I don't mean Indians. I mean customer uh, support. Um, if there's anybody polit politically correct out there who wants to jump on that. But you know what I mean? It, it's, it's quite uh, funny how, um, like, the you know, when you're in customer service, they, I, I experienced this through HP as well, where they just kept saying the same thing to me and you just don't trust them because... They'll say anything to just try and pass the buck on to the next person. So, if any of you guys have got a similar story, I'd love to hear from it. Um, I know I normally do tutorials and reviews. I just thought I'd uh, tell you guys about that. And it is frustrating, but hopefully that is the end of it. Thanks for watching my little video, guys. And until next time, take care.